Hi, this is Double 1975 and today a bit of Modern Warfare 3. This is not some old gameplay dredged up from my theatre, this is actually not so long ago. I was playing Advanced Warfare, as you can see in that opening clip when I boost jumped. I still thought I was playing Advanced Warfare for a minute in this game, but I literally, I was playing Advanced Warfare, I played about 5 or 6 games and I was having a bit of a boring time. I know what it is, uh, the game just annoys me and I, I don't enjoy it. It's not as much fun as some of the other CODs. So I whacked in Modern Warfare 3 and I jumped into this TDM and it wasn't the best performance but I did do my best to turn this game around because as you can see we're losing and from the point I joined we were losing quite heavily. Had the other team not had someone so set on destroying my helicopters I think I would have done a lot better. But I still feel this was decent enough that I'll post given I haven't posted any recent gameplay from me playing Modern Warfare 3. I haven't played any Modern Warfare 3 in such a long time. And I thought I might as well bring you a more recent game and not just some dredged up game from my theatre. Which is what I have been doing. Now I'm using that good old M16, the uh, not overpowered uh, burst assault rifle. Which is unusual for a Call of Duty game that a burst fire assault rifle isn't massively overpowered. I always enjoyed using this gun and I always enjoyed killing people with it at decent medium ranges and long ranges. It's not great up close, but then I got the um, MP9 in my back pocket, which is one of the best submachine guns in the game, and that was actually a secondary and not a sub. But it's so overpowered, it didn't matter. Now, like I say, I could have done a lot better if the guy on the other team hadn't been desperately shooting down all my stuff. But what can you expect? It's Modern Warfare 3. People always love to uh, shoot down your things. But as you can see, we've pulled ourselves back into this one and it gaps closing. Now, one of the crucial moments in this game was actually one of my team drop a stealth bombing run. Which kind of annoyed me because I don't like people using the lethal support streaks. I don't like there being lethal support streaks. It seemed a bit odd to me to reward someone who hasn't put the kills together in any sort of chain has just got that total number of kills in the game and they get a bombing run, a lethal score streak. Because if you get an entire team running bombing runs, they all get them towards the back end of the game at the crucial time and suddenly the game turns on its head as they bomb the other team for ages. But anyway, that's this gameplay coming to an end and I was helpful in turning that game around for my team. I might not get the greatest score ever and this might not be the greatest gameplay I've ever posted, but it's an honest recent gameplay from Modern Warfare 3. And that's all, and thank you very much for watching.